All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Ba'ashim Haruk HaKadosh. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to you brothers through the four corners of the earth, preaching this word and also laboring in this word in truth, love, and sincerity. And may blessings fall upon the houses of the one third. And um, I just wanted to do a quick lesson to let the brothers know, um, you know, the brothers that got children, right, to, you know, monitor what they are watching okay because we know for a long time esau edom which is the so-called white man all right the biblical hebrew edomite he has been pushing uh, a, a massive amount of uh wickedness right all through his his different media outlets or media sources okay and um what i came across uh, recently was you know a new show that they're promoting on Hulu called The Bravest Night. All right. Which this is starring two homosexual men with uh, two homosexual men and having a daughter. OK. And as you can see, you, you see how they doing this. All right. OK. These these two men right here are portrayed as Edomites, as you can see, and the daughter uh, being a, a so-called black child, which, you know, She'd be an Israelite. Okay? But we see, we know how Esau plays these different mind games. All right? And we know how he's, you know, uh, how he likes to promote and push his wickedness on the forefront, you know? With also using our people being involved, you know, mainly at the forefront is uh, the most. Okay? So, yeah, like I said before, you know, you have to monitor with what our children even me myself because i have young children you know but you know we have to monitor what our children are watching because this devil is going hard man okay this devil is going hard extremely you know and who does he tend to attack you know first and foremost are our children okay so yeah this is just a a show pop show that's on hulu about the star on hulu right with two homosexual men you know and them having a daughter right but not only that because this made me look up more different things because I, um i heard of uh, different other different um, uh, books that they came out with you know and tv shows and things like that you know but this still inspired me to go look and say well let's see how much more stuff that they have out there okay let's go to uh Right, so I typed in gay and transgender books and TV shows, and when you scroll down, what do you see? Under the under the title, the best LGBT picture books, you see. So as you see the uh, different titles here, right? They got. Uh, let's just click on one. This is with the penguins, right? And you, we know children like penguins, so uh, children that's you know this uh, like that animal, they're going to probably see it in the store and say, "Mommy, I want that book," right? And if 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 the parent is not paying attention. Right. They end up picking up this book for their child, you know, not knowing that they're about to be taught. Right. Of the vibration. Right. Take on the vibration and energy of wickedness. OK, here we go. We'll read the title it says Entangled Makes Three is a children's book written by Peter Pornell and Justin Richardson and illustrated by Henry Cole, which was published published in 2005. Ooh. OK. The book tells the story of two male penguins, Roy and Silo, who creates a family together. Right. And this is a part of Esau's whole uh, agenda to push this, you know, homosexuality, lesbianism, transgenderism, all this madness all throughout the earth. OK, this is all part of his agenda. Right. And people are, are you know, in an uproar for as a uh, or, you know, they have been speaking about, you know, less. Uh, the Slakia. The big thing that have been going on now is let's teach, you know, LGBTQ or however you say that madness. It, uh, let's, let's teach the history of it. Right. But let's go further back and let's go into the history of that and what happened behind that particular matter. Right. So let's go to the Bible. OK, because the Bible. Right. Prohibits uh, these wicked acts. OK. Period. It's the book of Jude 1, verse, start at verse 7. It says, uh, we'll start off 5. It says, I will therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them 
that believe not. And the angels which kept not their first estate but left their own habitation, he had reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to forn fornication and going after strange flesh are set forth for an example, an example suffering vengeance of eternal fire. You see that? So Sodom and Gomorrah, right? In those uh, cities that was round about them, what they were, it, they were an example, okay? An example for what happens to people that live ungodly, right? And they was in all types of madness, going after strange flesh, right? Men uh, with men, women with women, right? Uh, bestiality, okay? All types of madness that they were into. But we're going into the, and I'm going into this and showing you. Of the history of you know what happens when you go after strange flesh okay see they like to try to go into the history and to the parts where they say you know what LG LG uh, LGBT right history started off when this this woman came out or this man came out and blah 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 no what well, let's go further back and go to the you know, the real history, right? And what happened and took place behind those wicked and sinful acts. Let's get one more. Let's go to Second Peter. Second Peter chapter two. Let's start at verse five. It says, verse four says, for if the most high spirit, for if power, Right or the Most High Spirit, not the angels that sin, but cast them down to hell and delivered them into the chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment. And spirit not the old world, but save Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of ungodly, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes. Right, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. You see, so. These places were an example to show you, look, if you want to live in this particular manner, this is what's going to happen to you. And who is following the footsteps right behind Sodom and Gomorrah? America, Babylon, and Great. And more than likely, probably a hundred times worse. You see? Because the growing uh, uh, rate of homosexuals and lesbian, lesbians and transgenders and um, people that's into bestiality, right? And that's what that's when someone sleeps with animals, right? Incest and all these different things has skyrocketed, man. Okay? Literally skyrocketed. Okay? I could tell you from 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 this date and going back to 3 years now, I didn't see as many uh homosexuals and lesbians and transgenders. I didn't see right all these young kids, man. Babies. I'm talking about babies. 8, 14, 12 we see them everywhere when we're out there teaching right and they are getting younger and younger and it just shows you this place is getting worse and worse uh, another reason why the heavenly father right is going to send his only begotten son to destroy this place man because this place is wicked man okay this place is completely wicked man and it's a completely against the ways of yahweh bashim yahweh man right so it says and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned, with, condemned them with an overflow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly, and deliver just lot, vexed with filthy conversation of the wicked. For that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. Right, you know, so the, the elect right now is also likened into lot. Okay, we are, uh, uh, we're in the same you know, mind frame as Lot, right? Because Lot was vexed, man. You see? Seeing, right? He was vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, right? Uh, uh, seeing and hearing, right? Uh, uh, of the things. And seeing and hearing of the things and watching the doings of what the people were doing, man. All the different unlawful deeds. See, and the saying um, as back then is the same now as the men of the Lord are vexed. Okay, the men of the Lord are crying, sighing and crying. Let's get that. Of all the abominations that are being done in the earth, done in the earth. Okay. 
Let's go to the book of Ezekiel 9, verse 4. It says, And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And to the others he said, In my hearing, go ye after through the city, and smite, let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Right? And we know Jerusalem is a people before a place. So, you know, uh, this a particular angel got, you know, the job, you know, with the inkhorn, right? And the rest of them got the um, the job to go slay, right? So it says, um, right, so put a mark upon uh, the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry, right, for all the abominations that be done in the ministry, right? And that mark is um, that mark of, ex uh, mark of ex exemption, Okay. So verse 6, it says, Slay utterly old and young, both maids and children, little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary. Then they begin at the ancient men which were before the house. You see? So the people that don't have that mark, what is to happen to them? They are to be slayed. They are to be destroyed. Okay? Whether they're women, uh, young women, all right? The little children, right? No matter if they're old. Right? If you don't got that mark, you're getting slayed, man. You see? Hey, in two thirds of our people, y'all not gonna have that mark. Y'all are not gonna have that um that mark exemption from a judgment, right? Oh, in the Hebrews uh thawa. Okay, y'all not gonna have that thawa, that mark exemption from judgment. Okay. Y'all are going to be destroyed. In other words, right? So let's get um let's go to the book of Romans one. Right, so let's go back to this. Let's go to a couple more. So, next one is Heather has two mommies. Yep, there you go. First published in 1989. Whew. See, so the devil have been on a uh, you know, they wicked war path for a long time, man. Right? Hey, ever since they came out the mountains, man. Right? They have been on a wicked war path, man. I'm going to jump in the middle. It says, this groundbreaking novel was one of the first pieces of the LGBTQ children's literature to garner broad attention. You see? And all these people, all you people that publish these, these wicked things, right? Y'all going to be destroyed, man. All right? What's this? Stella brings the family. So this look like two, two men and a daughter. Right, Stella's class is having a Mother Day Mother's Day celebration. But what a girl with two daddies to do? It's not that she doesn't have someone who helps her with her homework or tucks her in at night. See, so the mom, the the, the dad, that second dad replaces the mom. Right, and you see more and more. You see, mommy, mama, and me. Right, um, my princess boy. Look at this, completely madness. My princess boy. See, I wanted to try to get a picture of it. <laughs> oh, oh, look who's on the forefront. People with color. Our princess loves his dad. This this is this is wicked, man. Okay? This this, this is wicked. A mom's story about a young boy who loves to dress up. Let, let's go back. Let's see what the scripture say about that. Alright? Let's see what the scripture says about uh, uh, a man, right? Or a young boy, woman, um, Woman's clothing. What is that? Deuteronomy 22. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Uh, Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. It says, The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do or so, for all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy power or the Lord thy God. You see? So all you out there, right? Uh, uh, all you out there that, you know, you're a female, right? If you're a woman and you're putting on men's garments and you're a man, you're putting on women's garments. You're an abomination to the Lord, man. Okay? You're, you're disgusting, man. Okay? Because the Lord told you not to do these different things. You see? But now these people walk with pride. Okay? They walk with pride and they have no shame of how they carry themselves. You see? They think what they're doing is normal to do. 
Okay? And we see it all the time. We see these these little young young girls, young women walking past, sagging their pants. You know, they got on the whole the whole boy attire, man. They got the Tims, right? So, some jeans, sagging them, right? Cut off shirts, <laughs> do rags, bandanas, all types of things, man. Then you see the men doing the same thing. They they wearing these 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 tight tight spandex jeans or whatever the hell they wear with with uh, or leggings and and, and um uh, stilettos i don't know high heels right but things that pertain to a woman but what does the scripture say deuteronomy 22 verse 5 says the woman shall not wear that pertain unto a man neither shall a man put on a woman's garment for all that do so are abominations to the lord thy god you see so that's wicked man and you're an abomination to the lord daddy's roommate so hey, just another child with you know more men okay more homosexual more, more homosexual activity being involved more wickedness being involved and being promoted and uplifted you know uh through these different books okay through these different um um you know um uh outlet channels that they like to use right and hulu got plenty more Netflix got plenty more. I mean, they got categories dealing with if you want to just watch all uh, man on man wickedness and woman on woman wickedness and, you know, uh, how a boy is transferred to a girl, whole episodes and vice versa. Vice versa. You see? But this is part of the reason why this place has to be destroyed, man. All right. So let's see what the Lord said about that. Right, homosexuality. See the let's see the Bible says. It's Leviticus twenty verse thirteen. It says, "If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them." You see that? So, a hey, a man, if you lie with a man as if you lie with a woman, right? Y'all both supposed to be stoned, man, according to the Bible. But what does the so-called white man do? He gives y'all rights. He lets y'all adopt children. He lets y'all marry each other. He lets y'all walk around in public, right, uh, promoting y'all wickedness, man, right? So children can look and be like, well, mom or dad, well, what are they doing? Why, do, why does he have two dads or why does she have two moms or whatever the case may be? And they look at that and, and they start to question, right? But, you know, me me, and, you know, the men of the Lord, hey, we tell our children straight up, hey, that's wicked, that's wrong, okay? It's supposed to be a boy, girl, or you could say man or woman, however, you see? But I know even myself, I am not going to tell my children that, oh, it's okay, that's okay that you're supposed to do that. Hell no, man, you see? We, we, we are not subscribing to Esau's madness, man, all right? We don't care about what you people say. We don't care about how you think and how you feel about it. Hey, it's about uh, the will of Yah Bashim Shai. Okay? That's what it's about, man. It's about the way he wants things to be ran. Not yours. Verse 15, it says, And if a man lie with a beast, he shall surely be put to death, and ye shall, and ye shall slay the beast. But here it is, America, Babylon, the Great. What do they do? They got over uh, 10... Uh, states right now, right? I want to. I think it's 26 now, but I know 10 for sure. States that what allows you to what sleep with animals, man? They get married with animals. They got. They have dog brothels, man. Okay. See, so this this, this, this hey man, this thing is happening out here, man. Okay. The wickedness is exceedingly great, and it has polluted the whole earth, man. All right, so this was the, this is what's supposed to happen, right? Right, so that man's supposed to be put to death and that beast, okay? Because you did the, you did, you then defiled that beast. And if a woman approach unto any beast and lie down there too, thou shalt kill the woman and the beast. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Not give them, a, you know, a contracts to make a, a explicit uh xxx videos right and put post them all on the, over the internet you know showing you how a woman you know sleeping with a horse or you know <laughs> you'd be surprised at the things uh you type in that will pop up man it'll blow your mind of how much wickedness is being uh pushed out here 
okay? Hey, but the, the, the true men of Yah, Bashim Yahushah, we are making a stand against it, okay? Let's get this. Right, because they always bring up the new. They bring up the New Testament, like the New Testament, you know, isn't in league with the old, or like the New Testament, you know, in the old is, you know, somewhat different. You see, but what y'all don't know is, uh, what were the disciples uh, referencing? Right, the Old Testament. You see, that's why they was always mention mentioning as it is written. Okay. The New Testament does not give you permission to be wicked, man. Okay, it does not give you permission to be wicked. It's the book of Romans 1 verse 20 says for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen being understood. By the things that are made even to his internal power and God here so that they would they are without excuse because that when they knew the most High, they glorified him not as the most High. neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. Um, Slocky, I want to start at 25, right? It says, Who changed the truth of the Most High into the lie, to, into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the Creator? Who is blessed forever? Amen. Who have done that? Who have changed the truth of the Heavenly Father into a lie, man? Esau Edom, the so called white man. Okay, he changed the truth of the Bible. Truth, he changed the truth into the lie. Okay? Even though the Bible still says what it says, but he tells you otherwise, right? He tells you God loves you no matter no matter what you do. In the sight of the eyes of the Lord, he loves you. Right? That's what he says. Let's get this. It's the book of Psalms 5, verse 5. It says, The foolish shall not start at four. For thou art not a God that have pleasure in wickedness. Neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. You see that? You see? So the Lord does not have pleasure in wickedness. Okay? So let's go back to the Romans. Because I want to make a point. It's the book of Romans 1. Verse 26, it says, For this cause the Most High gave them up into vile infections, for even their woman did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Now, what is the natural use of a woman? Okay. A natural use of a woman was the what? To be a help me to her husband. Right. And to bear him children. Right. And I'm just pointing out them two, two main things. Right. Be a help me to her husband and bear children. Not to be not to be uh, having dealings with another woman. Right. Being a carpet muncher. That's wicked. Okay, and you got a lot of women out there that, <laughs> boy, man, a lot of you people gonna be destroyed, man. Okay, it says, uh, and likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their lust one towards another, men with men working that which which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their heir, which was meat. So yeah, the men are leaving off from their natural use of, of you know. Uh, putting that seed in that woman, right, to bring forth more children, like as as the Lord says, right, right. Uh, uh, be 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 fruitful and multiply. No, they chose to you know go do a, a wicked act with another man. See, and they own burning in their own lust. Okay. And even as they did not retain verse twenty eight, and even as they did not retain like to retain the most high in their knowledge the most high gave them over to a reprobate mind to do that to do those things which were un to do those things which are not convenient being filled with all unrighteousness fornication fornication wickedness covetedness maliciousness full of envy murder debate deceit malignity whispers backbiters haters of the God, haters of the most high the spiteful proud Boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedience to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, implacable, implacable or placable, uh, unmerciful. You see? Who knowing the judgment of the Mosad that they which commit such things are worthy of 
death not only do the same but have pleasure in that and not only do the same but have pleasure in them that do them you see so this is going this y'all judgment right if y'all don't repent is to be destroyed and let's be let's be real right it's less likely for these people to repent, man, in a proud spirit that these that hey, when these these people have a very, very uh, uh, proud demon on them, okay, a very proud demon on them, demon on them. Whereas I don't ever see these these people, you know, uh, uh, repenting and casting off that wicked homosexual demon off them or uh, lesbian demon demon off them. That's just me, you see. But hey, as the scripture says, there's, for, there's nothing impossible with the Most High. So yeah, if, if the Lord wants you to repent and wants you to return back unto Him and cast that, you know, cast those ways off you, hey, He could do that. He can do that. You see? There was one more I wanted to get. Oh, yep. Uh, Revelation 11, verse 8. It's lucky. I did not even mean to make this long. You know, just things start popping in my head as it was going into these scriptures, man. Right? Revelation 11 verse 8 says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, where our Lord was crucified, man. Okay? And these and their dead, whose dead bodies? The Israelites, because our people are spiritually dead. Okay? Shall lie in the street of the great city. That great city is here in Babylon, America, Babylon the Great, because here you can do whatever you feel. Okay, like I, I always mention, right? People that has you know still, uh, still keep you know customs of their forefathers in different lands, right? They leave those lands that they that they you know grew up, grew up in to come to America. Why? So they can do their wickedness. Because America gives you that liberty, that license to be a whole free for all freak, <laughs> right? It gives you that whole free for all freak that you want to be here, man. It says, uh, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Right. So this place is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Okay, because this place upholds sodomy. Okay, it promotes sodomy. Right? It's also uh it's Egypt because this is a place of bondage. To the Israelites and everything here, right? Foremost, when you start going into how um, America and Egypt is similar, it gives you a massive amount of different things. Why this place is a uh, uh, likened to Egypt as well, okay? But more importantly, this is a place here of bondage for the Israelites, okay? So, uh, hey, like I was saying, you know, hey, brothers. You know, hey, brothers and sisters, right? Please be careful, right? And pay attention to what your children are watching, okay? 